Hey you guys, Regis White here, and as you guys know, I'm preparing for a 30-day backpacking trip this summer. Uh, I'm also trying to teach people along the way how to, you know, do it the right way, how to do it without spending too much money, how to go to the, the, the cheaper places while still getting uh, the full experience and, you know, doing it, uh, get, how to get your bang for your buck. One of the things that people really need to focus on when you're trying to plan a backpacking trip is, think about it, it's in the name right there the backpack and that's what I'm gonna go over today I'm gonna to do a review on the backpack that I brought with me when I studied abroad and traveled to seven different countries with and never once had a problem with it so here we go a book bag that I brought with me and that I, I would recommend to some people for, that are going between 30 and 45 days is my Mermot Gunnison 32.5 millimeter book bag one of the reasons I like it is because it has so many pockets let me show you all of them real quick so it's got the main one in the back. There's the main one in the back. It's got a laptop case. If you want to bring a book, a laptop, I wouldn't recommend that, honestly. Too heavy. Uh, you know, big pouch right there. Then there's another large pouch in the back. Uh, it's got a divider in it for you to divide your clothing up. You know, maybe if you want to put your underwear in one place or your dirty clothes on one side of this and your clean clothes on the other. So that's always an option. There's, you know, one more. There's another pou pouch on the front. For different you know items you might want to bring I normally keep my uh, portable charger in there it's also solar powered I mean it doesn't go with the book bag review but if you're gonna backpack bring something like this you're never gonna know you're never gonna you're always gonna want to be able to charge your phone in with this one you're not gonna have to plug it into anything uh, back to the book bag <laughs> sorry about that so you know there's another pouch on the front and then Finally, a last pouch, oh, not, not, not finally, and then one more pouch on the front as well, you know, just to keep things organized, and then, you know, there's even a pouch on the bottom, I don't know what you're really supposed to put in here, I normally carry shoes in there just because I don't really care if they get, like, put on the ground or dropped or knocked around a bunch. Uh, other than, other than the, the compartments and the, the, uh, the, the, the different pockets and stuff, one of the things I really like about this book bag is its durability. All this, the zippers and the seams, they're super high quality, never once. Have I had them snag or, you know, not work on me when I really needed them to work? I've never seen any of the seams falling apart. And this book bag even has a warranty. So if you really want to, if you really do see anything going wrong with it, you can take it to the store. Or you can mail it in and they'll send you a new one. And or they'll try to fix it in whatever way they possibly can. Um, another thing that I really like about it that, you know, I think a lot of book bags have, but it's essential, is these little... Uh, straps on the side. I don't know if you can see them uh, right here, but what you do is you, uh, you, you you strap these down and when you're flying budget airlines in, in Europe like Ryanair and EasyJet, one of the ways they get you after they sell you like really cheap tickets is right when you're about to get on the plane, they uh, have you put your carry-on, which is normally what this would be, in a little bin that's like right by the entrance. And if it doesn't fit, they charge you $40 which is ridiculous. And so one of the things you can do is you can take these little straps on the side, pull them as tight as you can, really compress your book bag, and it'll shrink it down, may, hopefully make it so it'll fit in the bin. At least you, you might be able to force it in there, and ho hopefully they won't make you pay for it. Well, I think that's about it. Um, you know, if you guys have any more questions about this book bag, you feel free to comment or post down below. Uh, I guess this is Regis White signing off. I'll have more videos in the future.